want to get the most out of your TENS machine, yeah. our TENS machine has four functions. We're going to take you through each and every one so that you get the absolute best out of your machine for your healing. So let's start with the obvious. A TENS machine has a TENS function. TENS function is designed to be able to negate pain. If you've got pain here at your shoulder, your body, your brain can only perceive, perceive one input from that area at a time. So you've got pain going on, it's feeling pain. If, on the other hand, we place the electrodes over that area, we will find it will create a tingling sensation, if you like. Em's got a little cupping kiss on there. So let's imagine that the pain is right in the middle of that. Sorry, the cat is going to start playing with the uh, cords. We turn on the machine, the sensation is perceived by the brain instead of the pain that's been there previously. If you've got a larger area, you can place both lots of those electrodes. There are four in our machine that are attached to two leads, two each, and you can place those over the top. So the key feature with TENS is to have the pain right in the middle of the two electrode pads. Now that doesn't matter if it's over a joint or on a muscle, you can put these TENS pads with a TENS function over the top of a, of a joint, you can do it over the top of a bone, you can do it over the top of muscle, it doesn't matter. It gives a tingling sensation, and that's what your body feels instead of the ongoing pain. So if it was tennis elbow, for example, pain of tennis elbow usually here, we place the electrode pads on either side, and that helps to stop that feeling of discomfort coming from the tens, or the, the elbow that, where the tens is. So what we're gonna show you now is another step up from a TENS machine, and that's the second function of this machine. It's called the interferential. What happens with the TENS is you can push up the intensity of it to a certain point, and then your body will go, you know what? The tingling sensation is to a point where it might start to become uncomfortable. Obviously, before that, the pain is negated, which is ideal, but if you've got pain really deep, like, for example, disc pain, or it might be period pain, or maybe sciatica, then we need to get the TENS electrode stimulus deeper into the joint. And we can't get that through with just increasing the intensity because at some point your body's gonna say, I can't handle the tingle on the skin. So what happens with interferential is we're using both of the leads so that the electrode stimulus can join together and penetrate deeper within your skin. So things like period pain, disc problems, sciatica, brilliant to be able to use the interferential feature. But there is something that's really important for you to note. And that is, you have to cross the electrode pads. These pads, one black, one red, are one of the leads. And that's plugged into channel one for M. Now what we need to do is we need to take the other two electrodes, which are on channel two, and place them in a crisscross pattern. So we wouldn't usually do the interferential feature on a, a shoulder because the TENS function is, is ample but we will sort of give you an idea on how you can do this on our little spine below, but we have to have that crisscross feature. You don't want two electrodes from the same lead here and two here. They must be crossing each other like this. So I'm gonna give M two, and I'm going to take two, and we're gonna show you what that's like for lower back pain or a disc problem. So I would place mine like this, and M needs to cross over and place hers in the opposite way. So one here and one down here for me. Oh, yep, sorry, that's a bit confusing with the spine. <laughs> so you can imagine, say, a disc problem down in this area, bring it down a little bit lower, but we have crisscrossed. This is mine and this is mine. That's M's and that's M's. So we've got a crisscross pattern. Doesn't matter where the black and where the red lead goes in this particular function of the machine, but it is very important that you get that crossover function so that the two electrodes can penetrate together and get deep. So right in the middle of our cross is where the pain aspect is, nice and simple. So that is for interferential. The third feature of our device is called the EMS, or electromuscular stimulation setting. This is exceptionally good if you've got swelling in your feet, in your arms. Let's say, for example, you've got carpal tunnel syndrome and you've got lots of swelling up and in your arm. What we need to do is we need to make sure that the joint that we're trying to get rid of the swelling from is above the level of our heart. So let's say, nice and easy for the carpal tunnel example, we're going to get M to place her arm up higher than her heart so you can sit down and watch telly and have your arm up higher. Sorry, Heidi's sitting on the uh, electrode pads. 
We, it is very important at this time to recognise the difference between the black and the red electrodes. We want the red electrode to, electrode to go closest to the heart. Find that easy to remember. I often think of red blood heart. And we're trying to place the electrodes on a muscle. Em would obviously take her watch off for this. We just need to make sure when it comes to the EMS setting that we do not cross a joint. We're trying to get a single muscle or group of muscles to contract. We're not going across a joint because that's that what we do with the TENS feature. It's not what we do with an EMS setting. So making sure that the red, which is closest to the heart, goes to the area that is closest. And then we place it on a muscle and then allow the EMS setting. What that does is it causes a contraction of that muscle. We know that the lymphatic system doesn't have its own pump. So we utilise the EMS. So without M having to move her wrist, which could aggravate her carpal tunnel, we keep it nice and neutral and still. The muscle is contracted by using the device and that will then draw the excess lymphatic fluid out and back towards the lymph nodes of M's chest. If we were going to do it for swollen legs, you'd need to lay down your back and elevate your knees and your feet and place it on your calf muscle, not across your ankle, not across your knee, but right on the calf itself. That will contract the calf and literally draw the fluid down with gravity and back up to the lymph nodes within your groin. So the only key feature here with EMS, do not cross a joint, make sure that the red electrode is closest to the heart. Simple as. All right, now the final feature of this device, which I'd have to say is absolutely my favorite and a rare find in the TENS machine, can I say? It took us a long time to be able to make sure that we could get one of these in. This is a rushing mode. I know I talk a lot about imbalanced muscles and postural issues with people, but they can lead to so many different problems within the body. Pelvic issues can result in knee pain or plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis. If you've got issues up the top with chest imbalances, you can result with rounded shoulders and we get in, end up with rotator cuff issues, etc. So if you turn on to the Russian moan feature, it is designed specifically to strengthen your muscles. Now, I know we all like the idea of popping it on our abs and sitting down watching telly and grabbing, grabbing ourselves a six pack in the lunch break. But the key here is to actually contract your muscles with the device and that will have probably a 10 times 10x what you would yep. do if you were to do just one regular exercise at home. So for example, if you've got the classic rounded shoulders of someone who spends heaps of time on a computer, your chest becomes really tight, the muscles in between your shoulder blades, relatively speaking, are weak. We then place the electrodes in between the shoulder blade and the spine on both sides and turn the device onto Russian mode and it will cause the contraction to pull your shoulders back and you can even use a resistance band to assist that activity. Then you'll feel the machine start to ramp down when it does that. You can relax. You only need to do 10 of them to get a massive workout. Great. When it comes to the black and the red, we don't need to worry uh, about that, but we would keep one set of electrodes on one side of your body and the other set of electrodes on the other side of the body. Because again, we're trying to put it over a muscle, not over a joint, because we're wanting the muscle to contract and that will start to rectify some significant postural issues. It's also a really good feature if you've had surgery and you're starting to get uh, wasting of the muscles, you place it on and it will start to rehabilitate those muscles. And you can, if you're rehabbing, keep the body nice and neutral. Say you've had a total knee replacement, for example, you can keep the leg nice and straight. You don't need to bend the knee and, and add to the exercise. When you first start to rehabilitate, you can place this on the muscle will contract without aggravating the surgery and it means that you're one step ahead of your rehabilitation process so four features my favorite would have to be the russian mode just because i'm a chiro probably but and then the more you turn it up the more intense obviously absolutely and so literally it just pulls you back without you even having to do anything but you know nothing. once you're working with it then you're just going to get so much more out of it it makes such a difference at the same time yeah so these are the four features this is how you get the most out of your machine sorry heidi um, but so many different ways you can use it. So if you've purchased one of our machines that is that you've, you've purchased for pain relief perspective, don't forget to utilise the other features of our device because they can help you to rehabilitate in a way that will mean you're much less likely to get an injury again in the future because you can rectify the postural imbalances that you've got. So use it to, your, to its full function. If you sprain your ankle, don't forget to pop your leg up pop the EMS setting on to get rid of that fluid faster so that it doesn't continue to do any more damage. That is our machine. We love it. It works really well. We've had some great feedback from it. And I certainly know that I use it on a regular basis. If I've got a, a rib that's out and I have to go to work, 
Uh, Em's getting pretty good at adjusting me, but sometimes uh, I need to just cover up the pain for a little bit while I'm actually there treating and trying to service others. So I find that I can stick it in my pocket and it can be working on my back and then I don't feel the pain at all. Super handy and portable. Really, really handy. Yep, even if you're stuck in the kitchen doing dinner for everyone. Yep, get onto it. Easy to do. Great way, drug-free, easy to use. Thanks for having us on your therapeutic journey.